focusing on it and Tiffany asked me on there to do a tutorial on how I make my red buttercream icing and I'm about to do that so if you want to see how I make my vibrant red buttercream icing then just keep on watching okay so making the buttercream I have two four ounce sticks of butter and I do another half stick of butter, so that's another two ounces. So a total of 10 ounces of butter. Mix that. Three quarter cup of shortening. I use Sweetex high ratio shortening. You can use Crisco. As always, I add Wilton Clear Vanilla. It's so delicious about a teaspoon or whatever, I eyeball it. Then I'm gonna scrape down the side, if you don't have a scraper blade. And now, the secret that I use to get a deep red icing is I use um, deep pink, which you can't really tell what it says, but it is deep pink, this is Americolor gel and I use super red gel. So you don't wanna squeeze a ton of red into white icing to get it to be red. You'll start with the pink base and then add a little more red. So, just going to, awesome. Add a little bit of pink. It's like five drops of pink. actually going to add a little more pink so that was about nine drops of pink and then I'm going to add a squirt of red if you will I always say if you will but whatever a little squirt of red could you see that going in there that was the worst video ever not much red. I don't know. It's like a half a teaspoon. <laughs> now I'm going to add a two pound bag of sugar. I'm going to cover this with a towel and pulse this to get the sugar incorporated so I don't get a big sugar poof all over the place. starting to incorporate I have this little measuring spoon I always use this it's not an actual tablespoon I'm not even sure what it is <laughs> like what is this thing but whatever I'm sure someone knows what it is but I'm going to add like three tablespoons three to four tablespoons of water to this to get it to a better consistency Scraping down the sides. A huge arm in the way. This is a horrible angle for this video, I'm sorry. So it's not super red yet, so I'm gonna add another squeeze of the super red in here and mix again till I get it a deeper color. And this still has a bit of a pink hue to it, so I'm gonna add a little more red. It's about another teaspoon, and then mix. And here is your red icing. So I'm icing this cake with the red buttercream and I wanted to show you something. When I usually make buttercream, I add all the coloring before I add the sugar. So I don't beat too much air into it. But when I do red, I wanna get it to a deeper color. I add the sugar, I, like I did in the video. I add the sugar and then add a little more red and I have to beat it with the sugar already in and it causes air bubbles in there. So I just wanted to show you as I'm smoothing this out, which I use my smoothing method, I can link my um, 
buttercream, how I ice a cake in buttercream. I'll, I'll link that to this. But as I'm smoothing this out with the paper towel and everything, there's still going to be some um, pock marks and bubbles that show up. It's just, it's just what happens. The way I smooth it out, it does take away a lot of that issue, but there's still sometimes um, little pock marks in the icing. But using this paper towel and smoothing method does get rid of the real little ones. Um, you may be able to see that there's a big one here. What I would do in this instance, I'm not going to do it now, but after I um, finish uh, leveling this off and everything, I put it in the refrigerator and then I'll take a little bit of icing and I can basically spackle this closed. Now the icing will be a different color because this is going to set and it's going to deepen but it will eventually catch up, if you will. I, I need to stop saying if you will, but no, I'm not gonna stop saying because I say it all the time. <laughs> but it will, ha it will deepen and almost blend in really good with this color icing. Does that make sense? And as I'm smoothing this out with the paper, it's helped getting the icing a little more smooth. Still taking out some of the smaller marks in the icing. But there are still a few that I might want to fix. That one, that one, all the other ones may be covered by a bottom border um, or decorations. So it's much better than it was. And then as I do this final leveling and smoothing process on the top of the cake, I wanted to show you what I do because in my buttercream video it's white buttercream and someone asked me when if um, I'm doing a dark cake what happens when I put water on the very top of the cake does it start to change the icing and it does so um, it's just one of those things that I can't avoid what I do is usually um, the icing will be darker in the center and there's usually a tier on top of it if it's the top tier um, most of the time a uh, decoration will be on top or something or it's high enough that you're not going to be able to see it. I will show you what I mean. As I smooth off the top of this cake, I take a little bit of water on a spatula, it's hot water, put it in the center. This is where the other tier is going to be on top and then I start to spread it around. So it really does discolor it where the water first hits the icing and then it, um, it really doesn't change the color as you spread it out. And then I just go around the edges and refine by pushing the water back in. So you may be able to see there is a little mark in the center, but the cake on top will cover that. And it, if it is the top tier of your cake, um, most of the time there will be decorations or a topper or something that would really cover that so that wouldn't be noticeable. If anyone knows a different way to do it, to get it this smooth and not get that uh, different color part of the icing in there, I'd love to know. So here you go, here is your red buttercream icing. I actually left this icing out for a couple hours so the color could deepen and I wanted to show you the icing in contrast to the icing when you first make it out of the bowl so you can see how different the color is. It does set to a really deep dark red. So a couple things about this, you just want to know that when you have to get a deep color in icing, you do have to add a lot of coloring, which can color your tongue or your teeth when you eat the icing. That's why a lot of times if I have to do really dark icing, I will cover it in fondant. But sometimes people just want buttercream icing and you just have to add the coloring. So I really can't think of anything else to say. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And just like always, please like this video if you liked it, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and you wanna see more videos like this. And I am on social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram and I have my website, I will link all of that below. So thank you for watching the video and I will see you on the next one, bye.